may have a submit um, right now. It's I'm sure we may be possibly delayed. Um, I'll give you an update in a few minutes. And we're about uh, six minutes away okay. from your uh, opening shot. So we'll just need a shot of you okay. and the camera. Well, not you and the camera, just you, you know, wherever yep. you're going to be. So. Right, right, right. Just standing there. So uh, I don't uh, yeah, I'll give you a little update um, in like two minutes. Do you need anything else? Hey, and just so you know, my IFB is really, really soft, so if you guys can just talk a little bit louder. I have my volume up all the way. I don't know if it's because it's loud as here, but it's really quiet. Scream it, Jared. I'll scream. <laughs> can you hear me better? Chad, let's step through the tapes. And, uh, oh, okay, and rolling D, and it's all sound. This is Oklahoma Zone, News on 6 in high definition. Comes eight for sound check, or all right. Sound. It's been a tough winter for bike shop. I'm surprised Thanks. there's cold. Smile at the top of the show. Yeah, about five minutes away, Alice. Hey, Dave, looking good. Master, I'm guessing there's check. not a clock okay. during this. Yeah. Hey, Jared. Yes. Just let you know. Hey man, let's go with 96 in Riverside. I think 97 yeah. is on the other side. Yeah, you won't have a clock until we get there. Cool. Yeah. Any idea how much warning oh, we're going to get? Wait, is it so um, it's 90s? Which one is it? Sorry? Yeah, pretty good idea. I mean, the end break yeah. is uh, two minutes and five seconds. Got it changing real quick. But, you know, we'll know several minutes out before that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so far, so good. The, the the glitch here at the end was yeah, more or less of our making. It was a inadvertent. You know, oh crap! We didn't. Know but so it wasn't like the system. Right. So yeah. so on one hand, it's bad. On the other sure. hand, it makes me feel better. The system's not just oh, a yeah. weird thing. I mean, some of us can log on, some of us couldn't. That's pretty much what it's it was. It's a load so balancing thing. Out. We've been working off of one. Reconnected to the mirror setup, whenever, and like, there's it a suddenly went. Or a movement. Well, it's also a mirror, but it's not fully place. up, and so, so it got locked up because it couldn't take any more logins. Okay. All right. Cool. One, Thanks, so, sir. Yeah. Two, we should be stable. <laughs> All right, you're good. It's about one, two. Seconds. Yeah, my check. One, two, one, two. All right. Well, it was the 71st and 169, so they had a big rush yesterday. Home Depot and Ace Hardware tell us they're expecting business to pick up more and more as this evening goes on. IFB check. Ooh, what that, it? IFB check, eight, Megan. Looking great. Right. Okay. IFB check, Mike. IFB, you're going to be on the top of the show in okay. about 10 minutes. Preset two, please, sir. And Allison's camera, um, Preset three. Ooh, Matt, shading. Master check shading on three. Who's, who's hey, what? Allison, uh, for the top of the show, um, just for, uh, be very careful with movements on the camera, just because uh, sometimes you go into a little fritz. They need to check their headroom on um, Dave's shot. Uh, for this five box, four box. You're gonna have to talk louder to Allison. She she's having trouble hearing you. Allison, be careful for uh, any camera movements in the opening because your camera goes a little fritzy. And Dave, uh, if you can have your camera guy zoom in for a little, be or at least be careful of the headroom for the opening shot because you're in boxes. Remember. Same way with Alice. Hey, camera guys. Uh, both Allison and Dave are going to be on uh, in boxes at the top of the show, so if you could close them up and tighten up your shots. Hey, did you? Yes, ma'am. Did you check the iris of Jim? Preset to Jim. Hey, Dave, tell um, your cameraman that he needs to zoom in on it up just a little bit. There we go. You're in boxes at the top of the show, and we're, we're already going on late. We're getting way too much. 
Perfect. Or, or, All right. Or a little. Uh, does that look but okay now? Way better. Do you need me to bump it up a little bit? Is that better, Ray? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, perfect. I think it looks Thank good you. once you get straight onto okay. the monitor. Okay. Thanks. And Jared, when you check Mike's IP earlier, he didn't have to. They need to center up in, a little bit on Dave. But it's on now. Thank you very much, so Michelle. So you might want to double check it. So we're going to be going late. Oh, sorry, Ray, what'd you say? They need to center up on Dave. Okay. Center up on Dave, please. Tell your cameraman to center up on you, Dave, please. Center up on your shot. Tell cameraman to center up on shot. Does he have any problems here? Well, they just pan left. Dave, center, tell your cameraman to center. There, there you go. go. Good. They could be on a delay, so. IFB, check mic, IFB. Reset one real quick. Okay, we are on Thanks, a delay. Sir. We're All running right, do late, whatever you have to. But we That's are fine. going to, regardless, lead with y'all in the four box. We're sticking with this, so just stay ready. Basketball game delaying us. Uh, do you know how much time? Uh, anybody have any idea on the time? Nope. A minute left in the game. There's, there's a minute, minute left in the game, there's but... There's one minute left in the game. But there's a two-minute outbreak. And, a two, oh, right, and, and then a two-minute outbreak. Okay, what I'm thinking is uh, the end break for this is all Ramos. Okay. I'm thinking I'll get rid of, do you want to get rid of all of it or do you want to keep like a 35 seconds? It's your call, man. Down in? That's your call. Straight off of uh, the Masters will be your roll cue if you want to do that. Jared, I can get rid of all of it if we can. Okay, we'll come straight off the basketball, straight off the Masters to you. Get that, Jared? That's yes. That's what we'll do. So okay. it'll be seamless is what we're going to do. Copy that. Okay, stay ready, you know, stay ready. We're, so there's we, going to be no commercial no clock, break, but, so just uh, stay ready. The Masters ready. will be the real cue. Okay. And Megan, stay ready because we're, we're going to have no commercial break. We're going straight to Chrome Game. I have no end break here. No end break, Mike, so we're coming straight into you, so stay ready because the game's about to be over, so get to where you need to be, please. Game's over. Oops. We'll be right there, Jim. Okay, there'll be a little blah, 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 not much. Uh, maybe a few Stand spots by one and minute. then we'll see. Uh, Less than a minute. Okay. If this works out, we'll be really, really close to on time. Oh, no, they're coming back to the studio, so that's not going to work out. I mean, we can still go seamless, but we're going to be heavy by about a minute, two minutes. Uh, well, it's already 502, so we're already heavy. Well, oh, no, yeah, you're right. So two, three. Yeah, yeah, that's my bad. I was trying to time travel there. <laughs> I killed the confidence speed. That's why I went away. Because we're close to the end of the game. 28's dead. 28 is dead. And we're going to get rid of 26. 28 and 26 are dead. <sighs> 6 is dead. 6 is dead. Now, if they're going back to the studio, they could go to another Stay game, I ready. suppose. Jerks. They probably, you know, how CBS is. Let's hope not. So what happens if they go to another game? Or we got to wait till it's over. If they go to another game, we'll have to sit on it until they're done with that. It depends on how important they think we are. Well, they could be talking about final uh, tournament stuff. This is yeah, I hope so. That may be all they're talking about. Both, both of them are going to probably be dead. Yeah.
Uh, someone's latched. Oh, well, probably Daniel. <laughs> I was like, where am I hearing that from? No. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Seven, Seven is dead now. Seven is dead. I think they're wrapping. I think they're wrapping. I think so. What's her I what's her ID? Masters. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, you'll be up here very shortly. All okay. right, coming up soon. Five is dead. Five is dead. There's the masters right there. Stand by. Stand by. And We're going roll D stand and fade up sound. This is stand by C. And the gist. Roll C, start to move, and dissolve. Our top story tonight Stand by three with the name. And dissolve, animate. Good evening, I'm Megan Farley. Ice. Can you turn it Animate. Ready for the box. Just a few of the things we can expect. We have seen coverage with Dave Davis live on Riverside Ready on how this winter weather is affecting business. And Allison Harris is live at Breezers off 15th and Lewis, where Green Country residents are stocking up in preparation. But of course, first, let's head straight over to meteorologist Mike Rogan for the timeline of events. Mike. Take in a minute. That's right, Megan. We are looking for uh, this event to begin within six. the matter of hours. In fact, and this is up for nearly the entire viewing area. And the uh, wide view on Viper 3D shows nothing quite going right. on yet. Snow well to our north. That moisture is going to start to break out over Oklahoma in the coming hours. Really after Five is uh, dead. 9, 10 o'clock this evening, dead. all bets are off for good travel in the area. So as we look outside, a murky evening with lots of low visibilities and the temperatures are falling. Make sure you turn your Notice your just volume up a little bit there. Uh, very cold conditions okay. already falling to the freezing mark in Coffeyville. But compared that to the 67 degrees in Poto, what a range of temperatures. One. This is a very stout cold front and it's pushing southward. So between now and probably the evening hours, we'll see temperatures in southeastern Oklahoma drop a good 30 degrees or so. We're on our way to very cold conditions. Already seeing those readings in the metro area, anywhere from 39 in Sky took to 33 Hominy and Pawnee. On the other side of the metro area, mid-50s from Okmogee to Muskogee. Looking ahead at that forecast it's between now and 9 o'clock, temperatures falling into the mid-30s with some drizzle breaking out. And then later this evening, we're talking about the threat for slick roadways, especially in the areas in pink. And even a few thunderstorms breaking out late tonight into the early morning hours on Sunday. And that is going to lead to several different issues. Our timeline on our future view model looks like this. We're going to see quite a few clouds and quite a bit of precipitation there breaking out after midnight by 7 a.m. Most of the area well below freezing. That means freezing rain and sleep will be ongoing. And taking you through your day, we're going to see widespread areas of sleep located in the pink, maybe some freezing rain. And we'll have updates on how much we expect and when it will all come to an end in just a bit. Back to you. Very good. Thanks, Mike. Roll so at 5 o'clock, the continuing winter weather is hitting three. businesses hard across green and country. Off. Hardware stores can't keep the winter 31. gear on the shelves, but the story is different for outdoor stores. Dave Take Davis animate. is live near Riverside where business with. owners are having a difficult time surviving with this year's winter weather day. And take in me. Megan, yeah, we're out here at the Trek Bicycle Shop at 96 at Riverside, and they were honest. This winter has been brutal to them. They are cold. cyclists. Of course, we got a sneak peek of spring last week, but now, as the coming weather is on its way, several area businesses like Trek are buckling up for today and tomorrow. Roll A sound take. First key is Steve Palmer it's been at a nine tough seconds. for bike shops like Trek and South Tulsa. But less than a week ago, right things quick. were looking Ready up. Key? People Can came animate. out of the woodwork. We had yeah, lots animate. of business. Desmond and, at 55. Uh, kind of TRT is 140. Uh, Not cute, whatever comes next. Lately. It turns out that warm spell yes, last week was okay, just please. a teaser. But as the weather is about to turn icy, okay. only the hardiest of cyclists are too. still hitting was the trails. Was that the last key? There's no. some brave no. people that get out and ride. Next is at 55. No what the weather's like. We applaud that. We support that. There are winter activities you can do at bike shops, taking inventory, building bikes and selling indoor trainers, but really it's it's a lot like farming. You know, we just kind of watch the weather. It's is that your next two boxes? It's yeah, early spring. But spring is usually what we look for. For local hardware yeah. stores like Best wow. Hardware and owner Greg Wellborn, it's an entirely Can't different animate. story. Their spring things like lawn care animate. items are still in the back Greg of the store 104. because his customers are still in winter Ready weather key. mode. Everybody's Can't animate. tired of it and ready to get on the spring, but Anime. You know, this is Oklahoma, oh. and this is... That's you know, it for the pack, TRT 140, 30 Their seconds. selling items have been ice, Not melt, cute, and space eaters. We'll come Lots out to 31 of space eaters. Well, it says they were out of there a couple weeks ago following the winter weather mess in Atlanta. He told us that storm is still putting a little squeeze on the heater supply. 
So a lot of suppliers, you know, were shipping all their things Ten in seconds. so that we're kind of left a void. And so, every, you know, basically everybody was out of heaters and that kind of stuff. Five Either seconds. Way, ready he said they are stocked up and ready for whatever comes next. And thank you. Ready to box for the four several other stores. Lowe's in South Tulsa said they had their big go rush yesterday. Question. Ace Hardware and Home Depot are expecting business to pick up more and more as the evening goes on. Take. So I'm sure everybody has this question. What are the items that people are going to have a hard time tracking down? I know I was looking for space heaters. So what have you heard? Take. Well, that's one of them. All the hardware right stores box. we've been talking to say it's space heaters mm -hmm. and ice melt. Not it's just box. really going to be hit or miss as to what see? store has them and what store doesn't. Thank you. Roll C and take. All right, Dave, thank you. Continuing our coverage four. on the winter weather heading our way. Grocery and stores dissolve. across Tulsa are getting a big boost in sales as people Ready stock up with. for the storm. Now, our very own Allison Harris is live at Reserves off 15th and Lewis. Hey, Allison. And take animate. Hey, Megan. Somehow we have found ourselves animate. in the middle of all of Ready this madness. Now, as Roll you said, we're at the Reserves take. off 15th and Lewis, and there are three main hot spots in the grocery store right now. Of Be course, the bread aisle is very busy, and then we're between two of the other ones. Now, over here, we have the eggs, which are selling like crazy, and then on my other side is the milk, which is flying off the shelves. Now, managers it. here tell us this store has the biggest inventory of any research location, which they hope will translate to shelves staying stocked as more and more customers come in to buy groceries. People here say this is much busier than a typical weekend of grocery shopping. Workers are continuing to replenish shelves through the evening, focusing on those milk, bread, and eggs. Shoppers say out. compared to previous winter storms, this is not as chaotic of a shopping experience, but definitely still busy. Roll B, sound, and take, animate. I'm surprised there's plenty of food on the shelves Question right now. Animate. And Just, I don't next is a 13. That, I don't feel yeah. that hectic Question's feeling dead. that I have to grab everything fast before everybody else gets it. Key, and the store key and comes, and animate. I got plenty of peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> animate, this is 22 peanut seconds. Peanut butter and jelly and water. <laughs> Ready 32 and take. Take. That is. Oh. Megan, this is a yeah, key for our rotation. Managers no, no here two say that they able to keep All right, the shelves ready, three. fully stocked through Straight the majority of the winter storm. And take. Cue. All right, Allison. Thank you. Bad weather Music. is hitting during country. Start pulling. So coming up, meteorologist Mike Rogan will have a full timeline for you. Plus, the thing you will want Stand to avoid touching at the doctor's office that's covered in germs. Beautiful wildlife Stand works take over green country this weekend when you can see the show that's helping a great cause. And faded my break. Did the boxes and stuff die? I think die? she something that you killed. I think so too. She did the great art and cause thing. Yeah. Did that tag on 4C or 4C die? You killed the question. We killed the question. That was fun. Did you float that? It doesn't look like you floated anything. Because I, I didn't have the oh, boxes sorry. or anything. I didn't know it was dead. I thought the box would stay there, just not the... I thought the box would stay there, There's too. nothing in there. There's no second box? No nope. way. In, four, in the 4C, four it's in the actual thing. With the box? Oh, I forgot the box there. That was my fault. Okay. Okay. So what are we doing? I still don't have a clock. Damn it. I got a clock for you right here, buddy. Right here. Okay, I heard somebody talking to me. What are we done? What are we done here? I heard we teased something, but now we've. Well, we teased something that's in the last block. Okay. There you go. I'm just going to have to take it from sports. Okay. So, 28's back. 28 is back. Well, it wasn't the same thing on all of them, winter storm warning. Oh, it was. 10 seconds. There. Stand by C. Wait, I. And her mic. I had a box for her. Five, four, three, the tag two, was changed. one, Sorry. roll C, and fade up to Stand my four with. In today's medical minute, doctors need to wash more and than their dissolve. hands when seeing patients. You and animate. obesity rates are dropping for young animate. children Ready, across a America. Roll A, sound, take. A new government study this has no keys. TRT 55 seconds US, out came after each use. Preschoolers. She will Researchers tag Researchers weighed and measured more than 9,000 people from, from 2011 to 2012. They found a third of adults and 17% of children and teens are obese. But for children ages 2 to 5, obesity rates dropped 43%.
New research shows a simple prenatal blood test is more accurate for genetic screening. 30 the seconds. The test measures fragments of DNA that are circulating in the bloodstream. If the count is too high, the baby could have an extra chromosome present. The test is considered less invasive than others, and results take about a week to 10 days. And beware of your doctor's stethoscope. A new study from the Mayo Clinic finds that stethoscopes have more bacteria than the doctor's seconds. own hands. While physicians know to wash their hands, the Mayo Clinic says the same care Five should seconds. be taken for stethoscopes, which should be disinfected after each use. Thank you. All right, sleet, ice, Music. snow, significant drop in and temperatures. A chill five. is starting to take over the Osage Casino Skycam Network. And meteorologist Mike Grogan has a full Stem timeline of, of events for this winter weather. It's next. And made it for your break. Okay, page 13 is dead. And the second, or you said the whole thing is going to be dead for page 17? Yes. Okay. All of 17 is dead. It's just going to be a generic pitch. Page 13 is dead. Page 17 is dead. Mike's going to pitch to break. I need his name key that you plugged that Sorry. Around. I missed it. starting with you, but you have to stay under 3.30. So when, when I say rep, you got to end it and you're pitching to sports, okay? Mike's good at the wall. No, he's tossing the break, not the sports. Toss the break. Toss the break. Toss the break. Sorry. Toss the break. Toss the break. Ten away. Stand by C. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, roll C, and fade up, sound. Stand by one win. And it's all key and enemy. Winter storm warnings are about to go into effect for eastern Oklahoma. Enemy. They are posted for nearly all of the region. We do have an ice storm warning in effect for LaFleur County and there to the south where freezing rain will be the primary issue. And that could lead to some serious issues in terms of travel and, of course, power lines and trees uh, taking the weight of the ice as well. Travel advisories to our Did western and western mountain and None of that showing up really so far. Mm -hmm. We do have a lot Anyone of problems in place, though, and that is the sign of the system coming system our way. That system yeah. is actually located into California. Take a look at this. This system Three. is very powerful. It's been pinwheeling its way into the California Master coastline. Tax, got a lot of moisture is in front of it. Right and then the other component, of course, is the cold air. So as that low pressure pushes into this area, it's going to mix with the cold air seeping into Oklahoma, and that's going to cause the problems at hand. So to our north, bitterly cold air across the northern plains, Minneapolis minus 2, Bismarck minus 7. And you can see it's kind of moving on southward. But compare where we are to Dallas, Fort Worth, 74 degrees, 80 in San Antonio. This system was trying to draw up warmth, but unfortunately that uh, Arctic air is cutting beneath it, and that is why we're seeing temperatures dropping very quickly. In fact, take a look at this temperature gradient Hawkins, compared uh, to the north to the south, up to our northwest. If you live in Newkirk, Burbank, your temperatures are already below freezing, so once precipitation begins, it's going to start to stick to the roadways and cause issues. Even on the north side of Tulsa County, upper 30s. Meanwhile, Bixby's at 47 degrees. Let's take you southward where temperatures are much milder, but this will be, of course, a very fleeting event with temperatures in the 50s to lower 60s down here. Wilberton is at 67 degrees. So you can pretty much tell the cold front lies between southeastern Oklahoma and the Tulsa area. Back in Tulsa, cloudy oh, skies yeah, at North Wind, bringing our temperature down to 44 now. And that North Wind will be kicking up through the earlier. night. Today's high was officially 51, but so long 50s, hello 20s and teens. That's where we go tonight with gusty north winds. You can see some precipitation breaking out, mostly in the form of freezing rain and then sleet by morning hours. And there could also be a few thunderstorms across southeastern Oklahoma. We can't even roule out one or two storms produce, producing severe sized hail. So that's about just another area. issue Everybody. that we're going to have overnight into our Sunday morning. During the day, we're going to see areas of pink indicating the freezing rain and sleet, especially from Tulsa to the south. There might actually be an area with not much going on, and that has been consistently showing up along I-44. But I've got once him. again, don't get complacent with We've that. We've got one down during the middle of the day. Oh, check, be check back your balance. Probably more sleep and eventually snow by the evening hours. Here's our timeline. One. We do expect some freezing rain tonight, giving way to even a few storms to the south, and then sleet, really primary precipitation okay, during the day here in Tulsa to the okay, southeast, it's freezing rain and sleet. And then tomorrow evening, a bout of snow could lead us to maybe one or two inches of snow, and we could end up with maybe half an inch to an inch of sleet in the area of pink, and maybe up to a quarter inch or more of ice 
into southeastern and east central Oklahoma. And as far as that snow is concerned, we might be seeing higher amounts near the Oklahoma-Kansas line on the order of two to four inches. Tulsa, maybe an inch of snow. Some indications there could be even more than that. But right now, sleet, I think, is going to be what we see for the most part. And on top of that, bitterly cold air. Our wind chill values during the day Sunday falling off into the teens and then the single digits even below zero at times. And by Monday morning, it's going to be downright brutal out there. So your forecast looks like this. 34 in the morning, and in fact, or 34 at 9 o'clock. By morning, we're at 19, and the temperature's holding steady in the teens. We expect the sleet and then eventually a change over to snow, off and on periods of it, making roadways very slick throughout eastern Oklahoma. Travel certainly discouraged during break. the day. And then we'll be below freezing until Tuesday okay. afternoon. That is when things Claire. will start to warm up. It's we'll be back with sports. And fade it for break. On Monday. Cool. Hey, I know, Mike. I'm missing stuff in sports. Is 24 dead? What's off that, guys? Okay. Yeah, 26, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, and the roll cue for the Sox, Scotty, is keep things in perspective. What? I can't hear you. What was it? Did you guys get that? 24, 25, 26. And we're right on time. What was that? Roll cue for the Sox is keep things in perspective. Did you get that? Yeah, I got it. If you can reprint that script for me. Which one? 21. Sorry, I have time. We got it. We're good. Master, out time still 29 okay. even? 29 even it is. Yes, it is. How much time? Um, left. We've got about a minute 45 left in break, and then we have OU highlights first. And then okay. And just FYI, there's about 30 seconds of video. Okay. Yeah, we should be fine. Yeah, but he keeps breaking up, guys. Did you give me? Did you give me on the video? Did you give it something positive, Kansas, and then the last play, or? It doesn't really matter, but it's just like right one. I say just. Yeah, it starts with uh, the OSU's come back in the second half, and then. So it, I have 15 um, seconds for final weather. There's like a Kansas play. Gotcha. Put in for that wildlife art show, but keep it as short as possible. Okay, very good. Okay, one minute and 45 minutes, sir. You've got all Ten the goals. 10 seconds? Right? Three, four, I seven. hope. Okay. <laughs> Five, four, three, Two, one, roll D and fade up sound. This is Houston about four six with. Sports with Charlie Hannibal. And is off key and enemy. The Sooners in Texas battle for a tournament seating this afternoon enemy. in Norman, both from the Ready Big 12 with. and the NCAA. OU started the day one game back at the Longhorns in the Big 12 standings, and at number 25, the Sooners are two spots back at Texas in the roll RPI. And take enemy. Kevin Durant in attendance for the Red River rivalry in Normandy. Enemy. Texas alum and Thunderstock scored that by Isaiah next. Cousins the step back. That's fancy. Jumper good. OU up seven. Second half, Sooners on fire. Swinging it out to Buddy Heald for the three. Buddy Buckets puts OU up 42 30 wide later in the second. It's Heald open for another three. That made it a 15 point game. And then. The exclamation point, Pretty Cameron Kane. Clark and Heald with the ball back to Clark for the alley-oop slam. Pretty the Sooners win 77-65. When the schedules Pretty came the out, that was supposed three. to be a huge game as OSU battled Kansas 42. for the Big 12 title. Still a big game for the Cowboys, just not as we first thought. And John Holt of Live and Gallagher, I've been rated with more time. And take, animate. Charlie, you're right about that. The Cowboys are fighting to animate. stay in the hunt for an at-large berth in the NCAA tournament. Animate. And the victory tonight would obviously help them in a very big way. They come in with some momentum, having beaten Texas Tech here last Saturday and then winning at TCU on Monday night. In the first meeting, Kansas looked like they would run away and hide from OSU. The Jayhawks led by as much as 18 before the Cowboys staged the second half rally. And OSU actually had a shot to win it at the buzzer, but Frank Mason would strip LeBron Nash as he went up for a three, and Kansas would survive 80 to 78. That was back in January. As far as tonight, OSU's head coach is trying to keep things in perspective. Roll B, wipe sound, and so animate. Animate. This is 17 seconds. Stand by Biz 2 like and John's Mike. Big this time of For anybody, I don't care who you are. They're all big, they're all exciting. Five seconds. They are. They're, all, they're all exciting games. I think everybody understands that. Wipe Q, animate. Kansas is already 
look, locked up a share, at least a share of the Big 12 title. The Cowboys 18 and 10 overall, 6 and 9 in Big 12 play. And after tonight, they host Kansas State on Monday Ready and finish the regular season at Iowa State. So still some work left. Some people think they've got to win two of these last three and then win a, at least a game in the Big 12 tournament to lock up an at-large berth. But we'll see. Tip off at 8 o'clock. Highlights at 10. It's Stillwater. I'm Paul John Holt. And take you. It's Senior Day at the Navy Center. Center. The Golden and Eagles host the Sam Houston State in the final Southland Conference home game tonight at 730. A win tonight would secure a winning record in conference Roll play. And white. The Golden Hurricane will play its final home and game tomorrow so. afternoon. Not only will it be Senior the Day at the Reynolds Center, Bell. it's also Legends Day. Tulsa will celebrate the 20th anniversary of Tubby Smith's Sweet 16 team. A team that Danny Manning says laid the foundation for future success at TU. Well, lay sound and take animate. Come on. They're welcome to allow. It won't go. Nothing's going. Teams. They see the all conference players. They see our academic all Americans. He needs they to go. That's my two. Ten seconds. 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 And it's off cue. That was interesting. Big weekend of basketball. OSU Kansas, 8 o'clock tip off. What we call it. All right. Thanks, Charlie. Yeah, well, we're wait. looking for a fun activity uh, that the whole there, family can do this there. weekend that's indoors because we'll that's this. important. Well, it's I'll let you know the Nature it's Works there. Art Show and Sale oh, is happening okay. right here yeah, in that, Tulsa at the Renaissance Hotel. It starts again tomorrow at 11 because people are going to need to be inside, most likely. Yes. Tomorrow's an inside day and avoid uh, doing too Stand much traveling gym. tomorrow as roads are likely to be very slick we'll starting mainly we'll after just go midnight to tonight gym. around Tulsa. Temperatures Music. in the sleep. It's going to be a nasty day below freezing until Tuesday afternoon. Anime. All right, don't go out if you don't have to. Five, See you back here at 6. Four, three, two, one, and fade it, Roy. Great. I just heard it was back in. I didn't know it became a reader.